here. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got for both of them in the first match of the Grand Finals in this Monthly Cup, taking a look at the opening splits. I believe it looks like the Abjure are going to be sending three members Your through points. their Seize beach theirs. here. Uh, no crossers coming out for Radioactive. That's kind of expected. They really haven't been doing a whole lot of crossplay lately. But three members, good line of warning there. Going to force a couple cooldowns to come out there for the Abjured. Uh, it's actually going to be sending two over here to the hinge point. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting hinge fight and an interesting heat fight as well. Nas going to be going for that free cap. He's probably going to plus that heat fight. Looks like Chase going to pull off and go over to the hinge as well. So we're going to probably see a 1v2 on the keep. Nas might go over and try to be in addition to that. So we're going to be seeing a 2v2 and a 3v3 here with the biggest fight happening on hinge already where Ready Made is at about 40% HP. Doesn't have any cooldowns left. Still has some stab stacks left over from uh, before where he did pop Armor of Earth. Still at about 20% HP. Doesn't have too many cooldowns left. Doesn't even have his water cooldowns here. So he's really just running on fumes at this point. Trying to stay alive right now with everything that he's got. Does have Ether Renewal. Is able to get back up to 100% HP with that yeah. Stone Heart up as well. That was a really good job on Ready Made's part. Staying alive and his other members of his team were sitting there uh, on the point. Making sure no point really went in favor. There is the Elixir X Rampage coming out there from Florida Boy Dustin. That's going to be a heaps of damage in favor of them. Take a look at the mid node though. Crisis actually taken into the down state. The big damage going in for the res. Wakey able to get that stop. He is taking mist form. So he had the mist form stop there and that's really going to help the Abjured start to build a lead at the midpoint though. Yeah, absolutely. Chaith right now Getting sort of low, but, you know, they're just able to put out so much counter pressure. Look at Ol Run right now. Just not able to deal with this at all. There's just so much damage. They have so much single target focus on these guys right now that they aren't able to get out their full damage potential because they're just always backpedaling. However, Ol Run was able to land a huge critical hit onto Dustin just moments ago there. About 7.6k rush onto him right in the back there. And, and he's able to get a lot of uh, heals from his teammates as well. So they're actually looking pretty good right now. Big damage Ooh. still being cleaved out over on the keep, but Jake actually gauge. taken out there by Crisis. That I mean, Crisis and Old Run together, you're not going to stop that cleave. So there's no way he's going to be getting up here. But Florida Boy Dustin and Phantom still in the area, forcing a 2v2 here. Uh, Nas actually under a lot of pressure here by Crisis, taking in the downstate. Crisis going in for the stomp. Will he be able to get it before Wakey gets in for the res? That was a huge stomp, despite the Abjured holding onto a two cap here. Ra Radioactive have to get something going here. They can't continue to let the Abjured funnel into Henge. Otherwise, it's going to be a 200 point lead just a matter of minutes. Yeah, that's the greatest use of Frenzy that I can possibly imagine. Able to capitalize on that and get that get that uh, kill out of there. Make sure that he, they aren't able to get that res because Abjured is so good at that. Able to get their reses back up, get the team back into it. And uh, with, especially with Wakey being the one to res them, he would have been able to pretty much full heal Nos as soon as he got back up. So definitely Ooh, a good play there. Crisis has just been trying so hard to take down Dustin, who actually pops Elixir X with like 2,000 health left. Able to get Rampage out of it. Now just running for his life. Man, that wasn't really a wasted Elixir X. It really allowed him to get out of that fight, uh, despite him not really using it for damage. Now he's going to be able to get back up 50% HP. We'll have to see how much pressure uh, Wakey gets put onto him. Misform is going to pop for himself as the big damage and Crisis. Uh -oh. Crisis popping the Rampage. Uh-oh. Need to watch out for this one. Big damage in the arena as well here. Florida Boy doesn't look like, looking oh, like he's trying Moa. to get... Oh, the Moa comes out. That's that toss Elixir playmaker that we were talking about that I think is so good because that's AoE. If they try to use that double warrior, they can get both of them potentially with the same with the same skill. I mean, that's definitely something that I think is interesting about them switching the Mesmer from the typical comp setup that they're running right now uh, to an NG, which is kind of this like off the wall thing that really not a lot of people have tried lately. Yeah, and there's a three cap coming out here for the Abjured totally dominating from the start of this game. Four minutes in, they're going to have a huge lead, 200 point lead with the three cap. This isn't That's really what we expected set right for there. these guys. Make sure you don't swing too high. Looking at this right now, we're seeing Wakey right now on the point. We're seeing two additions from this red team here of Jurd. And a Crisis right now is so low. Ready made taking so much pressure as well. And this is pretty much going to solidify this in my opinion. We're going to be seeing Crisis taken out after this def Defy Pain ends. Unless he's able to turn on Wakey. But I think they're going to be able to get Wakey up. We don't see Frenzy. Ooh, oh, wow. huge 100 blades coming out. So much damage coming from the world as well. However, Crisis was taken out. Looks like Chate's going to go for the secure stomp. Was not able to get it as he was actually knocked oh, back there. Oh, he's knocked back there once again. The stomp from the big damage uh. onto Wakey. That was in. That was crucial. Nas now forced out of the fight. We see decap nodes on both sides that coming was... out from Radioactive. Could they get back in this game after Just huge like plays that. being made by these guys? I'm uh, sure. I'm sure Florida Boy Dustin not feeling too good about himself there. He actually popped the Elixir X, which popped the tornado and knocked that stomp out of the way. That would have been a secured 
stomp, they would have been able to keep that. But because he actually prematurely popped that, unfortunately lost the RNG fight and and rolled Tornado, he yeah. ruined that stomp. And it, it's basically Whoa. his fault at this point that they dropped that. Tesla just made a play with that knockback from the shield. Nas tried healing. Tesla comes down at the last second, gets the knockback. Now Olrun is going to get the stomp onto Nas. That was a huge play from Tesla. Um, it might seem minor, but they got they knocked Nas off the map for the next 15 seconds here. They could really take advantage of it. Plus the fight over the hinge, and that's exactly what they're going to do with Tesla. Yeah, this is this is the opposite of the swing that I was talking about. I mean, it uh, looks like we're going to see a 1v1 Dustin right now on big damage. Big damage doing a pretty good job of staying alive at this point right here. And uh, I, don't, I can't expect... I can't expect Dustin able to take him out very, very quickly, especially with Olrun in the arena now as well as Tesla. And it looks like Did he's going to be forced into Red Elixir S and uh, basically just try to get away as the fight kind of transitions over to the mine point where we're already seeing a 2v1 in favor of this Abjured team. Looks like Nas is kind of getting trained a little bit right now uh, by the by the warrior here, Princess Olrun, but it, it pretty much didn't really come to anything at this point. Yeah, there is the Elixir X once again. Floyd Boy Dustin now getting that rampage that he had probably hoped for earlier. Uh, but back with the two cap here, it wasn't too much to worry about. Gave, you know, a little bit of hope to Radioactive. Still down quite a bit here. They've got a long ways to get back into this game. Uh, but definitely could do it. We'll have to see. Olrun, though, going into the downstate here, really not going to help them out. Tesla trying to go for the res. Probably not going to happen. Three members, four members of the Abjur trying to cleave out Olrun. That is a fight in favor of the Abjurd, especially with Tesla being taken down. Now Ready Nate is going to get crashed on. On top of Crisis, who pops his Rampage, will he be able to take anybody out, though? Not sure. We actually saw a little bit of a build change coming from Nas here, actually. He went over to that Corrupt Boon and uh, also taken that uh, that that Flesh Worm there so he can get a little bit more mobility out of it uh, in favor of the other uh, Condi application because they don't really have too much Condi. He's not going to be able to really flip anything. They're not running Dagger Dagger Elementalist, but he also has that Corrupt Boon, so he can kind of deal with those Guardians as well. This is definitely a good swap, in my opinion. Still has that Signal Locust so that if they try to go for a res, he can convert all of their stability that they're getting from those Guardians right into Fear and completely turn around the res with that 24-second cooldown that's also going to give him Might as well. Yeah, we just saw Ready Made get bursted down over there at the mine. Didn't stand a chance. Now Olrun and Tesla looking to take a 2v1 against Phanoram. Get the decap. Decap nodes on the sides here. We will see the Abjured claim victory over at the mine. Just a matter of seconds. It looks like the Abjured just going to ignore the big damage at the midpoint. All rotating over here. That'll be Nas, and it looks like 5-Gage going to be pushing over to the Henge, taking on a huge team fight. That could very well be the game if the Abjured take it. Yeah, it looks like right now we're seeing a lot of damage being dropped by uh, Crisis here, who's trying to get something going, but uh, does manage to get a lot of damage into Phanoram, but Phanoram just accepting that pretty much full heal from his teammates as they turn so much pressure down into Crisis. Chaith able to get so much damage down from his own Elixir X there. It looks like ReadyMate's going for that res. Might actually pull it off, but oh. he's getting extremely low, so he needs to be careful. It does manage to pull him off of that with that cleave, and Crisis is going to be going into Vengeance there and actually trying to turn some pressure out before yeah. he full dies there. Yeah, just Vengeance probably like, you know what, this game's about over anyways. They're only, they're not, they're not far from victory here. Uh, might as well just Vengeance, see what I can do. We know, like, I've seen Crisis, he likes to do that from time to time. But the Abjured look to be cleaning up shop over here at the Henge. All they really need to do is hold on to that mine point, and it looks like Wakey is just sitting over there and knows that's it if we need to win. We really don't want to take that risk of you guys getting back to the game and somehow, you know, wiping as a team. Ready made taken into the dust. There's so much damage coming out here from the Abjured. Nas getting pretty low, but I don't think Ready made and company not going to be able to do anything. There was an AOE MOA that came out onto Old Run and Crisis, or excuse me, Old Run and Tesla there. Not able to make much way with it, though. Yeah, I mean. The ability for Nas to just kind of control those down states is just absolutely incredible. He's able to get that signal of the Locust out, able to turn their stability into fear. I mean, that's huge for them for sure. Every time they go down, those Guardians pop that stab and try to get a little bit of a res going. It just completely ruins them. If he's able to get that, uh, the, the quickness as well, then that's going to turn into slow, and that's really going to ruin it. However, Nas and Phanaram were taken down as they tried to get Dustin back up. So that's three down for the Abjured here. But honestly, it's kind of at this stage a little bit too late here. And uh, Chase right now is trying to run away, trying to make something of himself. Uh, looks like he actually turned onto Olrun, who was saved there by his Endure Pain that procced from Defy, actually. And he's going to be going back over to the point just to make sure that he stays alive. But yeah. in the meantime, going to go over to that mine and basically just hold out for the next 30 seconds. Yeah, that's about it. 30 points away from victory. Wakey 
Lands the Emo up there. No, the Rampage from Crisis. Crisis, I think he needs to pop this immediately. The Boa, okay, so no, that was actually a good point. Crisis didn't pop it, but he's going to be taken down in a matter of seconds, no doubt. He's tried to pop it with like 3,000 health. so hard. He wants to get that Rampage knowing that's the only way so back into the game. so much CC on him. And if they turn the damage on him now from range, they're going to be able to get him. Oh, Ready made wow. is already in downstate. This is huge for them. Such a good play there, tossing that elixir and getting all that CC on Crisis early so that he couldn't even get that the Rampage out. And then finally when he did, he had absolutely no cooldowns left to really support him. And he was already at a low percentage of health as well. Old run right now, very low. <laughs> Does have his Rampage, but not going to be able to get anything out of it, if anything at all. And that's going to be game 500 to 239. 1-0 to the Abjured over Radioactive. Yeah, that was a pretty dominant game coming out for the Abjured. You know, 239 points for Radioactive, better than we've seen all day, at least from that semifinal matchup against What Are We Doing, guys? You know, they had a little bit of you know, sparks of hope at the end there, but total domination from the first four minutes on for the Abjured, three capping them just, yeah. what, a few minutes into that game. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of what we're used to seeing from Abjured, able to get that three cap and basically just hold teams for as long as they can. Uh, they didn't hold it as long as we've seen them do in the past, which is uh, definitely exciting for this other team here, Radioactive. But I don't think that they were able to... I, I think that Abjured was just finding too many answers too easily for this double warrior. I mean, uh, the, the swap that we saw from Nos was such a good swap, able to get that Corrupt Boon as well uh, of really taking advantage of those good Signal of the Locust plays and making sure that he can get out of those really kind of rough engages where he's not really in a in a very good spot with that uh, with that Flesh Worm Summit. Yeah, that was probably the most counter play we've seen from the Abjured. Yeah. Swapping to and the NG as well. double NG with the double MOA. They can really mitigate the MOAs on top of both of those Elementalists taking Mist Form to mitigate that even more if the MOAs don't do it as is. You know, that's just crazy, especially with Nas running Corrupt Boon on top of that. They were just trying to shut down and that's, these Guardians and Warriors, and that's exactly what they did. And that's something we don't see often right now is a lot of teams kind of counter-building a lot of, or counter-comping a lot of these other teams is that, I mean, Abjured has played the same thing for so long. You would think that at some point people would be like, oh, hey, wait a second. We know their weaknesses. Let's build for it. And we're seeing actually a team come through with a very good comp, and we're seeing Abjured actually the number one team in the world, the number one team in North America of course, uh, actually counter comping other teams, and it's really, really sh proving effective. Yeah, it really did, and, and that's a good point that you make. We really haven't seen a whole lot of this counter comp stuff come in a previous turn. It's just been, what has this person played the most? You know, right. Olrun played a whole lot of DD Ellie, but he also played a lot of Warrior in recent years, over the past couple years. I know he used to main Hillshot Warrior for that matter, a Bunker Warrior. He was one of the guys trying to bring it in. Now back on Warrior, he's probably feeling right at home here. You know, it, it, you can't really expect teams to counter comp all the time, especially if you don't have the right components. But to do as much as you possibly can, like the you know radioactive trying to bring out this double rampage, double sport guard, that's a pretty darn good comp that could be uh, something that could really reckon with the Abjured. But the Abjured saw it coming. They saw their matchups, and they switched appropriately to what fit them best and how they could react to radioactive here. But it looks like we have game number two underway. Predictions on this match really quick? Probably going to be seeing Abjured take this 2-0 over uh, Radioactive here, but definitely this is the match to look out for, of course. Uh, we saw a little bit of a, a play on Lord last time with this team, and with that double... Uh, with that with that double rampage, they definitely have the potential to do it here. If they can just kind of hold off and maybe get to 350, I think they have a shot, but it's definitely going to be a, a huge war for them ahead uh, to try to get to that. Four members of Radioactive going to the home point. Nas going to be going to his home point. The Abjured, it's like Radioactive knows they're going to try and send people to that waterfall node. Fanaram and Florida Boy Dustin. Fanaram just going to ride the lightning right onto that point there. Going to contest it immediately. Now Florida Boy going to be under a little bit of pressure. Remember, he does have that double elixir X, uh, elixir X, excuse me, and that elixir S. So um, we'll have to see how that works out for him. Already taken down to about 3k health. Crisis coming in, just doing massive amount of damage. That really hurts. There's a rampage coming out from Crisis. Yeah, they're trying to follow him out right now. Luckily for him, he's in stealth. They actually do manage to toss that el elixir X onto him. It looks like the tornado come out. Dustin not getting too lucky today on that. And that's that first time oh, NG luck, I think. So is 5 gauge. 5 gauge, both of them get <laughs> tornado. 
Yeah, that's definitely really unfortunate. Looks like they're trying to look for heals. They're not looking too healthy in this fight. Five Gauge doesn't have too many answers left. They need to turn some counter pressure down onto Crisis here, who is accepting a lot of damage here. Ready made right now, kind of not in a good spot right now versus Nas, so he needs to be careful as well. But, you know, this waterfall fight is really kind of everything. Five Gauge right now, pretty low. He's kind of off point. He does have his heal up very so shortly, though. Florida Boy doesn't able to get most of heal his heal off. Crisis right now at about 50% HP, and he needs, they really need to turn the pressure down onto Crisis, but he's getting just way too much heals here from he the He really damage. is, and there's so much healing power that comes out, and ReadyMade can hold off that 1v1 against Nos all day long. I'm surprised ReadyMade just doesn't piece to the core and get the decap, you know, Lightning Flash, oh, Nos can't keep that, up with them. But Crisis, the light. Crisis is about to be taken down. He has nothing left. He is taken in. Nice double. Oh, man, the res coming out from both these Guardians. Just going to get him up nearly instantly. So much support coming out from these Guardians here. But the Abjured doing what they like to do. Get that quarry cap and then kind of, uh, you know, snowball on it. Now they, you know, getting up to a 50-point lead. That's nothing to mess with. Yeah, and ReadyMade was actually forced off of the graveyard. Nas actually chased them off. And ReadyMade's not looking too good right now. If we go back to the point, though, uh, onto Waterfall. Phantoram right now accepting a lot of pressure. He's at about 25% HP. Does have water coming off very shortly though, so he's going to be able to put uh, some damage down before getting some heals for himself, go back up to 100% HP. But they really need to find a target very, very soon because, I mean, this has been prolonged very, very long, and we're actually seeing uh, that the Elixir X's are back up for Dustin as well as 5 Gauge here, so they could potentially throw those back up. Ulrun as well as Sir Crisis have about 35 uh, and 50 seconds left on their on their cooldowns there for, for Rampage. So we'll have Ooh. to see if they wait that Border out. Boy, there's Elixir X, happens. gets Rampage there, but doesn't land much of it. it terrain really hurting him. Both of them get Rampages this time. Last time they both got Tornadoes. Getting on top of Ulrun. Ulrun doesn't have much left. Running for his life. That mobility and the shield block is really what's going to be saving him here if he's able to stay alive. But the two cap coming out for the Abjured, it looks like one of them pieced out and got the cap on the midpoint. That's really going to hurt Radioactive. Looking at a 100-point deficit now as Olrun about to be taken into the down state. No one actually died there for Radioactive while both those Rampages were up. Yeah, they've been doing a good job in this fight. The problem is, is that they allowed Wakey to pull off and, and, and basically just help Nos just really kind of deal with uh, ReadyMade who was just kind of back and forth between the quarry and the graveyard, keeping the, uh, the graveyard decapped. But now we're seeing ReadyMade finally taken out here in between graveyard and waterfall. And that's going to be the first kill of the game, if Did I'm not mistaken, uh, already about four point. minutes deep. Yeah, that was a three and a half minute fight over at the waterfall. The Abjur taking the two, the three cap. Tesla going in for the stomp. I'm Nas will be enough. Gets the No, he does not. Nas gets res just at the last second. The Abjur really prides themselves on how quick they get those reses time after time. It looked like they were going to get the stomp, but no, just they all just crowded in there, got the res on the NOS, knowing it was essential to them not losing any of these notes. This is going to be 200-0 in just a matter of seconds here. Uh, this isn't looking good for Radioactive, yeah, despite a pretty strong fight on Waterfall, I thought. Yeah, they're doing pretty well in the team fights. It's just everything else just really isn't clicking for this team here, and that's the problem, is that they're doing good on one third of the map, but the other two thirds is just not really working for them, and because of that, they're really, really in not a good spot. Ready made going for a decap over on Quarry, but in the meantime, uh, we're actually seeing, oh, Crisis taking out five gates here. Yeah, if they can put points. some damage down on here, they might actually turn this into several kills, but Dustin is trying to get that res, not able to really get it at, at all there. And they actually managed to get that stomp. I think they probably should have just gone for a more of a heavy cleave there, maybe turn some more kills out of it. But Blue Team finally able to get something at least. Ol run right now at about 20% HP, does have shield block at his disposal, so he does have at least one answer should he get uh, bursted. It is receiving Ooh, Nos, the light from that guardian. Nos has 100% shroud, but look, 846 health out of shroud. No one's actually going to pursue him. We saw mid was decapped by Ready Mate. That's a good pickup. Ol run. Back up to about 75% HP here. No one really focused. It feels like the Abjured, they aren't focusing people. They're just trying to stay alive and hold on to this 2-cap for as long as they can. That's not a bad strategy for them. Uh, as long as, you know, they can keep switching who's on point and who's not. The uh, Radioactive really need to stick on top of Florida Boy Dustin, who's about to be taken down. Has about 4.5k health left. That is Elixir X, or S, excuse me, does get taken down there. Phantom going for the res. 5-gauge going to be there as well. Will be enough. Looks like he is back up in this that fight. That is absolutely insane. Their ability to get those reds is so quick. No mercy runes required. And he's back up onto the point. He's able to turn some pressure down at the Tesla, actually. Tesla receiving most of that with some light as well and able to get that heal back up from him. And, and his uh, ally there is uh, big damage. Helps him out, gets some support down for him. Yeah, the, I mean, this was decapped. That's good for radioactive. But there's another Elixir X coming out for 5-gauge. Going to get Rampage for himself.
as they are looking to build up to that three and a point. Four to boy Dustin able to get the rampage as well. You know, what are the odds on that? And now we're gonna see ready made actually give the full cap at mid to Nas. Uh, both all three nodes were decapped there for just a brief second, but mid just get did get full cap crisis takes down. It looks like four to boy Dustin gets the stomp there. It's another good pickup. Ten points though. Is that really enough right now? Yeah, definitely not. I mean, they really need to hit that 350 mark. That's their primary goal so that they can get into that lore to make a play. But at this point, you know, being 300 points behind almost exactly here, they're 295 here, and not really getting anything going for themselves at all. I, I don't really see anything happening here. I think Abjur's just going to hold on to this. They might make a Lord play, but they definitely have the ability to just basically hold on to the nodes. Just take this match until it gets to 500 off caps. Yeah, definitely so. And it looks like Christ is an old run. They've been, been running around all game long. It feels like they've spent, I believe they have spent the entirety of this game at this waterfall node. And it has been capped by the Abjurg. We did have a three cap earlier, but Radioactive gets the D cap still down over 300 points right now. Five gauge about to take it in. Dante gets his heal off. Good pick up. Nas sticking on top of Crisis, trying to get peels for five gauge. Will it be enough? Five gauge running for his life. Looks like he should be able to get out of there alive. Doesn't I mean it wouldn't really help Radioactive to pursue him much farther. But uh, Nas actually taken down here. So is Crisis. The big damage going in for the res. Should be able to get it. Florida boy going in for the res. Nas. Good cleave actually coming out there from Crisis. They get the stomp. But yeah. they have 15 points, three all stops. All run and crisis definitely have so much downstate pressure. They can cleave on basically anything and just solidify the free stomp or at least turn some kills around and kind of hold the body even through two to three people even. I mean, that 100 blades is absolutely insane at controlling those downstates. But, you know, it's it's honestly just still not enough because they have to generate those downstates. And if they're always being pressured, if those guardians are basically just kind of keeping them alive and they're just kind of always on the back foot, they're not going to be able to get into those situations. Uh, I mean, like the Abjurd is a good enough team where they're going to be able to quickly get their teammates back up before they can even respond to it. Yeah, and uh, I mean, they've done just so well this game. Um, Elixir XYs as well, these engineers have just been on. I mean, it's with the Rampages. If they get the Rampage, they've been taking names. And it's not like we've seen a whole lot of deaths this game. We really haven't. Oh, no, It's not just at all. been these points have gotten have been better. They don't even want to say rotations. It was just the opening split for Radioactive really killed them, especially like you said earlier, when Wakey was allowed to piece off to that midpoint and secure the two cap and the three cap eventually. That really just kind of hurt them. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's that's for sure. I, I mean, the fact that they let that happen, they didn't really capitalize, is just kind of a reminder of the fact that, you know, those warriors are really their only damage potential. They don't have a lot coming out from the Guardians all too much. Uh, and, and basically, the Guardians' only job is basically just toss a, a bunch of boons into these warriors and then just receive the light to heal them back up so they're above that 90% threshold or even just save them from dying. And aside from that, they don't really have too much pressure. And that's why they're not able to kind of take advantage of those opportunities and single target focus someone down outside of these rampages. Wakey just basically waited for the rampage to be popped by both of them. And then he was like, you know what? It doesn't matter. We have them on the back foot. I'm going to go out and I'm going to support this fight against ReadyMade and make sure that we turn this around. However, Wakey right now is in downstate. We still do have big damage dead here. Wakey's going to be stomped out by Tesla there. And Nas is going to hold the point. They still have Corey capped. We're seeing a little bit of a 1v1 happen here on this node where 5 Gauge actually did manage to get the Rampage from Elixir X, but didn't actually kill ReadyMade with it. Yeah, Oren pops <laughs> Rampage there and. Nas just pops Plague before actually he popped that. He just wants to sit on the point, not able to do anything with that Rampage. Four members of Radioactive at this midpoint. The two cap on the sides for the Abjured. Uh, you know, Nas about to be taken down maybe. Phantoram just, you know, they, they know this game's won. They're 55 points away from getting this victory and claiming victory once again in this monthly cup. Yeah, and Phantoram right now just trying his best to stay alive here. He does still have four people all over him, five people now all over him, and he's trying to stay alive. The Eviscerate lands from Olrun there. Phantoram not looking so good right now, just trying to stay around the edge of the point. Look at this choo-choo train happen over on Phantoram. He's just trying to get away. He does manage to do it, and it looks like uh, Abjured able to get in there and just kind of hold this and make sure that it doesn't get full capped here. And they're probably just going to hold this for the rest of the match as Phantoram moves out. We're going to see a decap actually from Ready Made, but I don't really think that that's going to be enough. They're going to hold uh, Waterfall, maybe even get a kill on Tesla or Ol Run here as they are putting some da damage down into them. But this is we're basically just about 20 seconds away from this being. Yeah, no one for the Abjured sitting over at the Waterfall. 25 points all off of kills for Radioactive. Yeah. That was it, five kills. Oh, oh, here we, here we oh, go. We are whoa. seeing a cap, here we go. The cap in favor of Radioactive. Really not gonna be able to do much with it. Get more than 25 points. Uh, they can say they at least capped the node, but 
like we said earlier, that is the Dirt's best map and just showing utter dominance and, you know, why they're the best team in North America, why they're the best team in the world after that WTS. And today, once again, proving themselves as a totally dominated and radioactive there, claiming victory to this July Monthly Cup. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Absurd has been very dominant. We saw them just take WTS. It's one of those teams that, I mean, you're going to have to come play uh, lights out every single time or you're really not going to score 30 points on them, yeah. let alone take a game. So uh, congratulations to Abjured, first of all, in taking World Tournament Series, then obviously to taking this monthly. And uh, it's, it's, been a fun, it's been a fun day for sure so far. Yeah, definitely. Once again, congrats to all the teams that played the Abjured, claiming first, Radioactive second. And what are we doing, guys? And looking like a cutie getting third and fourth place. And of course, happy to be here with you as we will be joining you next month. Once again, be here for you guys. Um, to stay tuned with the action, guys, go ahead and follow ESL on Twitter at ESLGW2 or use the Go4 Guild Wars to hashtag as they have weekly stuff all week long with the ESL Cups. And the, uh, I mean, they've got events all over the place. And of, uh, of course, you know, this little Char guy, he's been a Congratulations a to all the giveaway winners as well. I know Nikki Bot's been in the, in the, uh, the channel and uh, doing some work and help, giving you guys some good giveaways. So we've been excited about that as well. Hopefully you guys... I hope you guys won some stuff and really excited about that. Someone is walking away with this little guy right here. I think this is the exact one. Yeah, it's, it's not me, unfortunately. It is not me as well. So, But it's been fun, man. It's been fun. Yeah, definitely. So, again, thank you all for joining us. We hope to see you next month for the monthly cast. Other than that, have a good night, and we will see you there.